Generally, a design equation is described as stress, sigma, which is a force over area, should be smaller than the allowable stress. Allowable stress is the maximum yield stress that the materials can carry divided by the factor of safety. What is sigma? Sigma is stress. It could be shear stress, it could be normal stress, any types of stress that we have. F is the force that acts on the structure. A would be area of that. So this is the way that we determine stress, force divided by area. And that stress has to be smaller than the allowable stress. Allowable stress depends on the material that you're working with, also the design factor of safety. Sigma Y is not stress in the Y direction. It's yield stress is the maximum stress that could be carried by the material and then divided by the factor of safety that we just talked about. The higher factor of safety means that we are more away from the failure point. And again, we discussed that we don't want to choose a very high factor of safety because that would result in a very expensive structure. And at the same time, we don't want to choose a very small one because that may cause our structure to fail. And again, we can use the same equation for different cases, like for shear stress, for the bearing stress. This is just called a design equation. It can be generalized into any form. All right. Being that said, I want to solve a problem with you to kind of implement this design equation to a single case. This is a typical connection called clevis, where one element is connected to the other part by some bolts. In this case, we have just one bolt connecting these two parts together. A force of P has to be transferred from one side to the other side. We don't know how much is that force. We are looking for that. But we know that the diameter of the bolt that is used in this connection is 5 sixteenths of inch. And it is going to shear at 24 KSI. This is the allowable shear stress. So we already have implemented the factor of safety in that stress. We simply want to know how much would be the safe force that could be transferred in this connection. Okay, how can we solve this? In order to solve this problem, we need to understand where is the failure point and then determine those parameters that we talked about, like what is area and the other parameters that we had on that design equation. So go ahead, discuss, and try to plan the solution for this problem. Now let me talk about the solution of this problem. First, we need to determine what would be the type of failure that expected to happen in this structure. To help you visualize that, I prepared one animation that we are going to watch together. So after you increase the force, you see that the bolt may shear and it's failing. Now in this case, I want to know what are the area for the calculation and what would be the force. So this shows the bolt after failure, as we can see, the force of P has to be transferred by those bolts. And there is one important thing here, and that is this bolt is sheared on two planes, on top and on the bottom. So because of that, this force is going to be divided into two parts and transferred on the top and on the bottom. In this case, if I want to determine area, I'm going to consider two area of the pen. And that's why we call it double shear connection. So double shear connection means that each bolt is sheared at two planes. And for that, if I want to determine area, I would multiply the area of the bolt or pen by two because there are two areas of shearing. Let's write down the design equation for this case. This is the shear stress problem. So I'm gonna write down shear stress, which is force over area, has to be smaller than the allowable stress. In this case, I don't need to write ultimate stress divided by factor of safety because the allowable stress is directly given here and it is equal to 24 KSI. So the only thing that I need to determine would be how much is the area. For determining area, we need to multiply the number of bolts by the type of shear connection that we have in this case that is double shear connection and then multiply that by area of one pen. 2 stands for double shear connection and shows the number of bolts which in this case would be equal to 1 and then area of pen would be area of a circle. All right, now let's plug the number. We have one multiplied by two, multiplied by pi over four, diameter which is five sixteenth squared. Area would be 0 0.1534 34 squared inch. Now let's plug that back into the design equation. Force should be smaller than 
area multiplied by allowable stress. Area is determined and allowable stress is given. So force is limited to 3.68 kips, which is equal to 36 AB pounds.